First thing you want to do is undo this this air intake pipe. We're going to take off this connector here. We're going to go ahead and pop this throttle linkage off. Just take a flathead screwdriver, stick it in here. Give it a little love tap. Just pry it right off. So you get your air intake out of the way. Undo this connector. Undo your throttle linkage. You got four eight millimeters here. Go ahead and pop those in. Get yourself an eight millimeter long extension to get to this one here. Get those off. Make sure you replace this gasket when you go back together. To take off this elbow, go ahead and undo this hose here. Take off this eight millimeter bolt back here. And there's another eight millimeter head bolt right down here. Take those two uh, bolts off. So you push the bracket back with that bracket out of the way. You got four bolts, one here, one right over here. And then corresponding to the other side, you have two more bolts. We'll undo those two. We'll pull this, this line off, get those four bolts out. This comes right out. Be careful you don't knock anything down. Go ahead and just clean these up. Kind of scrape this in here. So as you go to get your wrench in here, I was able to break it loose. I was able to break the EGR nut loose, but I can't get any room to move this. So Does everybody know what time it is? It's Griffzilla's makeup. <laughs> Safety first. Get your Ricky Wild Thing Bond glasses on. Let it rip. This is a Griffzilla special right there. Remember, you gotta alternate it each time you take it off so you can get another bite. And just repeat the process. So we'll scrape this all up and then we'll go ahead and hit this with a vacuum cleaner and try to, we wanna try to avoid having any actually fall in here into the rest of the intake. When you get that intake cleaned up, it should look kinda like this. You've got your passages nice and clean here. You're gonna wanna go ahead and clean out uh, the passages on this side where the EGR actually enters the intake manifold. So clean that all up and you're ready to get back together. Going back together, guys, I've got the 90 degree elbow off. And if you're doing this job, hopefully it's because you're trying to clean these EGR ports out anyways. So going back together, we're gonna slide this in here. I'm gonna angle it down onto that tube. We don't wanna bend the EGR tube more than more than necessary to get this on there, all right? And it's it's difficult to see, guys. I apologize. The tube will it'll go it'll slide right into the housing of the EGR. So the EGR tube will slide right inside, and we we'll go ahead and we'll tighten this up, tighten that nut up. And I, I'd recommend don't make this nut tight yet to get the thread started. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Then get the two 10 millimeter head bolts started, and then tighten them all down. So get them all started first, and then tighten it down. <laughs> 